18 months ago, I bought this failed YouTube channel called Mr. Money and today it's making me over $10,000 per month. But between then and now, it took a weird strategy, a little bit of hard work and almost losing the channel to get here. In today's video, I'm gonna break down exactly what I did and why, but before that, I need to answer the obvious question. Yes, you can buy and sell YouTube channels because at its core, a YouTube channel is nothing else but a small business. I bought this one directly from the seller for a price that we'll disclose later in this video, but there are plenty of marketplaces out there where we can buy and sell YouTube channels just like this one. Now, 18 months later, the channel has over 200,000 subscribers, over 1,700 videos uploaded, and it's making me $13,000 per month. But when I bought it, things looked completely different. Mr. Money was originally started in 2019 and he was initially posting videos about making money online. He covered every possible and impossible way of making money online, from email marketing, to streaming yourself while playing video games, to reviewing websites, and basically anything that doesn't require specific skills. Now, this isn't really the best content you can watch on YouTube, but people seem to enjoy it, the channel was getting views, and the channel owner was making profits. In 2019, for example, its first year, the channel generated $15,000 in revenue. In 2020, the year after, it made $24,000, so $2,000 on average. I know that might not sound crazy to you, but the channel was trending up and it was supposedly to make much more money. Unfortunately, or actually fortunately, we'll see a little bit later in the video, the channel started going down towards the year, mostly because they started being inconsistent with the upload schedule. Over the last four months of 2020, there were only eight videos uploaded to the channel, and in 2021, the year after, only four. Revenue followed, went downhill, was making around $15 a day, so that was less than $500 a month at this point. I was already in the space and I was doing a little bit of research for some of my channels similar to Mr. Money and I noticed the downfall that got me thinking. Because I already knew the owner, I just went ahead and asked what happened with the channel. Apparently, the channel was sold to someone else and the new owner just didn't bother posting videos. And as soon as I heard that, I knew that there's an opportunity right there. Let's put it like this. In real estate, you have the idea of a distressed property. When an owner abandons the house or they just stop paying the mortgage payments for any reason, the houses get sold on the market at a massive discount and if you know what you're doing with your real estate game, you can turn that into an amazing opportunity for you to profit. Now, same thing with this YouTube channel. It wasn't really on the market, it wasn't available for sale, but I personally had access to the deal. And I knew that if I could get a very, very good purchase price, I could turn it into a money generating asset. Now hear this out, the original sale price was $25,000 and only a couple months later, I was able to get in and scoop the channel for only $10,000. I saved basically $15,000 that I got on that deal. Now that's not too shabby if you ask me, but I know some of you guys out there might be wondering yourselves, why would I pay money to purchase a channel when anybody can create one in seconds for free? Well, the important asset that I was paying for wasn't necessarily the channel, but the audience. When I bought Mr. Money in December 2021, the channel had 120,000 subscribers, a bunch of backlog videos, and also a $45,000 revenue track record. My goal was to leverage all of those and help me to get the channel profitable faster than I would have normally done with a channel that I would have started from scratch. And luckily, I didn't have to figure out all the systems and processes to get a team involved, because as I mentioned in the beginning, I already had similar channels in the space, so I already knew the freelance and I had a team who do the voiceovers, the edits, and the thumbnails for me. Essentially, I was buying the potential of the channel and I had the skills and the experience to turn it profitable. Or at least I had them because in the end, it turned out to be much more complicated than I thought and here's why. Purchased the channel, took over, and started posting daily videos with my team around mid-December and the channel was making around $15 per day at the time. And after 30 days of consistent daily posting, there was barely any progress. We had a few $20 days, but nothing significant. Now, when I bought the channel, I was expecting to turn it around much faster, maybe a week, maybe two, and now looking back, that was a little bit foolish of me because it's hard, even if you have an audience, even if you have a big channel, to turn it around that fast, especially in a niche like that, but with the traction we were getting, it was definitely not going to happen. Honestly, I remember being very worried at this point because this was the first big channel I purchased. I spent money on buying it and I was spending money every day on producing content. I did not just wanna keep spending money and wasting it each and every single day for the next couple of months. But on the other hand, I couldn't give up on the project either because by now I was probably $12,000 in the red and I was basically forced to find a solution I had to make it work. And then I saw another channel posting similar videos growing incredibly fast, but they were doing something very new at the time. They were posting three videos each and every single day. 
Now, doing that on Mr. Money was a pretty big risk because it would have basically meant that I would triple my production cost, which I was already not profitable. And I was losing money posting one video a day, and the idea would be to go and post three a day still while losing money. It seemed a pretty smart move. I had a little bit of money saved up, so I decided to do it. And I'll explain exactly what happened in a second, but before we go into that, there was one more problem I needed to solve. You see, that channel that I saw, that competitor of mine that was growing incredibly fast, posting three videos per day, wasn't actually a faceless YouTube automation channel. It was a personal channel, like the one you're watching right now. And up until that point, I'd have only grown faceless YouTube automation channels. I'm sure you've seen them before. I'm talking about channels where there is a script, there's a narration, so there's somebody with a voice, there's video editing, so there's stuff going on on the screen and the thumbnail, but there's no person, there's no face attached to them. The best part about YouTube automation channels or faceless channels in general is that you as the owner don't have to be in front of the camera and don't pretty much have to do any of the work yourself. You just hire freelancers online to do the work for you. You manage them as the team, take the videos that they post, upload them to YouTube and get paid. And they're much easier to buy and sell because since there's no person in front of the camera, the channel is all about the content that's being created, not about the person who creates the content. That just turns them into businesses that are easily transactable and the audience won't even notice the transfer in ownership. Now, Mr. Money was a faceless YouTube automation channel. The channel that I wanted to model, that was a personal channel. So I only had two options really. Keep the videos the same, faceless, but post three videos per day instead of one or get somebody to be the face of my YouTube automation channel. Now, getting somebody to be the face of a YouTube channel they don't own can be pretty tricky as you can imagine, but luckily for me, I had a student and a friend of mine with whom I've worked in the past who agreed to do the videos for me and we basically partnered up on the channel. I went the risk and went with option number two. Now, Mr. Money was not faceless anymore, but was still a YouTube automation channel, a YouTube business where I, the owner, didn't need to create any of the content myself. Here's how we went. We started posting three videos a day at the start of 2020. The channel slowly grew from making $20 per day to $30 per day, then $40 a day. And you can see here on the graph that the growth was compounding exactly why these types of channels make for great businesses. Four to five months later, the channel started making over $100 per day consistently and I was finally profitable on the day-to-day -day production. From there, the revenue kept compounding and it hit $200 days, $300 days, $400 days and ended 2022 with $42,000 in revenue, but it wasn't all. Despite 2023 starting very strong, making over $12,000 in AdSense revenue in January alone, which at the time was a record month, a couple months later, I got hit with a weird YouTube glitch that tanked the revenue on the channel from $12,000 to only making $3,000 per month. Now, I didn't make any changes to trigger this bug, but it was definitely affecting my revenue and YouTube support could definitely not do anything about it. So I was back to pretty much making $100 a day after a lot of hard work, a lot of stress, and a lot of money invested in this channel. I asked a few friends who had both personal channels and faceless YouTube automation channels if they've experienced the issues. Some of them did, some of them didn't, but what was certain, none of us knew how to figure it out and how to stop the glitch from happening. After seeing the potential that the channel had by making $12,000 in a single month and $10,000, $8,000 months prior, I definitely knew I could grow the channel even faster, even bigger, if it wasn't for the glitch, but there was actually one more problem I had to solve if I wanted that to come through. My partner, the guy who I hired to be the face of the channel, wasn't really excited about the project anymore because for him, he had to be the one in front of the camera multiple hours each and every single day, barely making money at this point. So this would have literally been the end of the story. But we came up with another crazy idea and this time it could really make or break the channel. We hired a new guy to be the face of the channel. Now, this also came with a little bit of risk because what if his videos sucked? What if the audience wouldn't have enjoyed his videos and the entire channel would have thanked everybody leaving? As you can probably predict from this story, I took the risk one more time and we kept posting. The next thing you know, two months later, YouTube fixed the glitch. The revenue of the channel climbed back up to five, six, eight thousand dollars in a single month and finally back to normal. Last month, in August 2023, Mr. Money generated $9,200 in AdSense revenue alone and a couple thousand dollars more from affiliate marketing and brand deals. Recently, added one more host to the channel to continue the expansion and today I can finally say that Mr. Money is a fully profitable YouTube business where I, as the owner, don't have to do pretty much anything. The team takes care of everything at this point and I want to give a huge shout out to them because we wouldn't be here today even talking about a channel if it wasn't for them. Now guys, if you want me to break down the numbers behind the channel, the cost, the revenue, the profits, leave a comment down below and learn my full YouTube automation system by watching the free one hour training I did on YouTube right here.